Well, tell us about that trio. How did that trio come together? Oh, you know, I met uh, I met Bernie when I was making my first record that I recorded in America, and uh, and he he was happy to come and play with me do, on tour, and and also I met uh, Ginger Baker through Laswell. Mm-hmm. I, we had a meeting, and he was telling me about his project he was doing at the time, which was uh, the the pill album with oh right right but the, you know in new and, york and yeah Gin, yeah and Ginny was playing on it so so and he offered me to do some some recording on that so i did i went ahead and i was you know very excited about how ginger played so so i asked uh, bill how i could get in touch with ginger and he gave me his phone number and i okay. called him up and the rest is history and then we had that trio we well, a good three or four years we toured around Doing shows mainly in Europe with it, but yeah. Well, Anna sent me a copy, uh-huh. and uh, it's a great record. It, it, it reminded me of Lifetime. I don't know if that's a a good thing or a bad thing, <laughs> but it, it 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 was it's dense. It's it's uh, got a great groove to it, and mm-hmm. uh, it reminded me of the first Emergency record with uh, uh-huh. uh, the way Larry Young would. Uh, do these dense chords, this almost messian kind of a thing. Uh, very enjoyable. You know, I, I I like it a lot, actually. I mean, obviously, that's why I released it, because I had forgotten about it. It was just sitting there on the shelf, and I listened a few years back, and and I decided I actually wanted to put it out, because it, it had something that... Uh, that is actually missing in the in the in the recorded works of both Bernie and Ginger. Mm-hmm. That that sort of playing you don't hear anywhere. Mm. Yeah, anywhere else. I think the closest you could go to Ginger would be maybe the Bill Frizzell thing he did, but that's a little yeah, bit more standardy. You know what you think? It's more standard. It's more more um, controlled and and correct, and it's not as as. Uh, free and expressive as this. this. This is really about what Ginger would play. If if Ginger would sit down just to play for himself, this is what it would sound like. Sort mm-hmm. of, he would do all these kind of African uh, polyrhythmical things. And uh, and uh, and a lot of time people would not understand what actually goes on there. As this, but particularly this one section that is, uh, where he turns everything around all the time, and it's if you're not really, really on it, you you would lose him. You would go with him somewhere where you're not supposed to go. Yeah, and, yeah. and and what I'm playing on it is like very, very, very simple. But I'm just keeping the keeping the count sort of. And yeah, then yeah, then Bernie is orchestrating the whole thing. It's, it's quite quite happening. Yeah, I, I was very impressed. Very very impressive. Very enjoyable. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 